let's go and do a factory reset on this cricket vision um, smartphone let's go and open settings so this is a factory reset um, delete all user data from phone settings if you forget your password pattern or pin blocking the screen of your phone and you are not able to access to um, the phone's settings to um, reset the phone please find my other video the title is hard reset cricket vision or Re cricket vision hard reset remove remove all user data okay so um, on that video i'll show you how to uh, remove your lock screen so just find my video and i'm going to try to leave the link on the on this video descript videos description so just find it okay so let's go and settings and uh, here we're going to scroll and you go on the bottom of the page where it says system and then system we're gonna go and find reset options okay and here we're gonna find erase all data factory reset okay so by doing this everything is gonna be deleted on your phone like pictures videos contacts text messages email addresses passwords any downloaded applications like music uh, games and things like that okay and make sure that you did a backup first uh, on your uh, Google Google account before you do this factory reset in case that you want to save uh, some files um, uh, stored in your phone's memory okay because everything is gonna be uh, delete like I said so just go back on your, on your settings and on the user and accounts. Uh, here you're gonna have your email address, okay, from Google. So any at gmail.com, yeah, and and it's very very important that you know your email address and password because after the factory reset, you will require to confirm uh, Google in order to proceed and get to the home uh, home screen of the phone, okay. If you fail to confirm Google, you won't be able to use your phone. It will be blocked permanently. So if you forgot your password, just go to any computer and reset the password before doing the factory reset. Okay, so just let's go back to system where we, we were before. before. And uh, reset options again. And let's go to erase all user data. We, went already, we, were, we already spoke about this. And if you are ready, uh, having your email address and password, just... Uh, go ahead and uh, touch the reset button and since you have a password pattern or pin blocking the screen of your phone just uh, enter your lock screen credential to confirm and then hit the yellow arrow and now touch the erase everything okay um, okay so at this point the phone will be uh, reboot And it's gonna take a few minutes here, maybe five to eight minutes for the phone to uh, work properly and take us to initial setup where we are able to register a language or thing like that. In case uh, the Android logo or any logo gets stuck more than eight minutes, uh, that means something is wrong with it. So just uh, remove the battery and um, then you need to use external keys using Valium app and power key. So for that, you need to find my video, Hard Reset Cricket Vision. Um, I want to try to link, uh, leave the link on the video the video's description. So you can just click there and have that for you. Okay, so because some, sometimes we need to calibrate the motherboard um, in order to be able to reset the phone um, to, to get to the home screen <clears throat> okay so in case you experience like drop calls and things like that also you can uh, do a reset or factory reset or hard reset for you can calibrate the motherboard and the phone helps to uh, work properly okay so now either if you did a, a 
factory reset or to just um, buy this phone for the first time you're gonna get to this uh, screen okay you wanna get to this screen such as uh, you can touch here to see any uh, language available uh, you can use on this phone but um, for now we're gonna use English right and now let's go to hit the start button and uh, if you already have a active sim card from cricket go ahead and insert so you can use it uh, for network or just skip this step and since we don't have any sim card they're gonna ask you to register a wi-fi account so just choose any of the wi-fi and um, uh, because you need this in order to proceed uh, and uh, confirm google so for now you're gonna skip this step Now let's go and select the time zone. So just select your time zone um, <clears throat> and the date, month. You can switch months, touch in the arrow and touch any day for and the time. Uh, touch in here is gonna be changing the hour. Touch there for minutes. And you can choose AM or PM. Hit OK. And now touch next. Uh, nickname for your phone. In the case that you lost your phone, you forget your password, pin, or, pin, or somebody else uh, try to access to your phone. After many attempts, they if they are able to guess your lock screen, uh, Google will consider, consider that your phone has been compromised. So they're gonna ask to verify nickname. If they fail to confirm nickname, they they won't be able to access to your phone so for your safety I suggest you to uh, set a nickname that only you know about this because and make sure that you, you place uh, this nickname on somewhere on a safe place because you're never gonna use it unless you forget your lock screen or something so um, it's important that you, name, you remember that okay so check it next when you're ready Okay, set up your screen using pattern, pin, or password. You can set this one now, or uh, you can also set the pattern or pin or password to lock your screen from settings once you get to the home screen. So you can, for now, we're gonna skip this step. Okay, skip anyway. Okay, Google services, uh, I recommend you to uh, leave this one on like uh, the first one is your location accuracy that means that anything that you search on google engine search engine the first result that you're gonna get is the one on your closest location of your phone like gas station restaurant or stores and second one is uh, is there any wi-fi available uh, that you can uh, use around your area um, you can take advantage of that in order to save your package data from your carrier okay so just leave that one on also and send system data any updates that are available for your android to be to get up to date that means that you can take advantage of that too so just leave it on and uh, hit the i agree button when you are ready okay and we are on home screen of this uh, cricket vision so let's go in um, if you want to set up your uh, lock screen uh, just go and find security and location sorry security okay you went to settings and find security and location and now you're gonna scroll and find screen locked and now you can choose password pattern or pin and you can choose uh, four to six digits for for your lock screen uh, hit next confirm the same and then hit ok and then show all notification content from your lock screen that means that any notification you will be able to see everything on the screen or you can hide the sensitive like email notifications uh, social pages notification um, so on the second one the third one is don't show notifications at all 
okay just uh, you want to see the clock and the date that's it okay so now when you're ready choose any of those three that you would like to have and touch done um, and this is how to how to uh, change I mean set your lock screen if you want to change lock screen just uh, go the same confirm your current lock screen and now you can choose to password pattern and so on okay so this is how to um, program this phone and yeah let me know if you have any other questions um, and please subscribe to my channel so you can have access to my other tutorials about this phone in case that by accident you activate the uh, google talk pack uh, it's a voice reading out the content of the screen. Um, it's kind of tricky to use. So I have a tutorial how to use it or how to disable. And also, like I said before, about hard reset when you forget your lock screen. Just in the future, you never know. And um, in case that your Google keyboard has been disappeared or any application is disappeared, and you're not able to see on your screen like maybe Facebook or YouTube or Google Play Store application and I have a tutorial how to restore them in case of you if in case that you don't see anything there. Okay, thanks so much. Any other questions let me know. And hit the like button if this was a um good information for you. Thank you.